You don't make many cars, do you? Don't make many, no. no. I mean, three. Three cars. Is that all? It's all yeah. three. Yeah. yeah. That's why they don't pay me very much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ian and Maury Callum are not only bonded by blood, but also by their love of cars. So much so that these two brothers hold the key design roles at two of the most well known car brands in the world Jaguar and Ford. I caught up with them recently at the premier car show, the Concourse de Elegance, in Carmel, California, to talk fast cars and family. So when you are around a family dinner table together, is there idea sharing or are you protective of your ideas? There's a lot of talk about cars, but we very rarely talk about each other's work, to be honest. You know? And I think, you know, we both trust each other and, you know, you know, I've always loved Jaguar as a brand anyway, you know, and I think, I think anyone in Britain does. So, so I think, you know, I'm glad, I'm, glad he's, I'm glad he's done what he's done with it. Do you ever call each other up for advice with work or...? Not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. The types of vehicles we're doing are completely different. The frustrations are just exactly the same, you know. So commiseration, to... not collaboration. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is yeah. Empathy, 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 I would say. Empathy, yes. Okay. Yeah. Mutual understanding of our frustrations. The thing about being design is everybody has a point of view. And that's something you just have to live with. Especially if you're working on a really important product, like I'm sure the F-Type was to you, and the same as the Mustang was to me. And it's like, you know, every everybody belongs needs, to the world. Everybody in his dog wanted to, to wanted to tell me what it should look like. If you look at a modern car, as opposed to a car even 20 years ago, the amount of stuff that's in it now that has to be designed, created, and thought about in a new way every time is enormous. So it sounds like you're not only designing the the product and the car itself, but the experiential design for your end user. Yeah, we, we've got a we've got a saying at, at I'm sure they say the same thing at Ford. We've got a saying at Jag saying, you know, the exterior will sell the car, the interior will kitchen you into the next one. We don't say that Ford, but we'll say it from now on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, new slogans all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> if there wasn't much collaboration, was there ever much competition? Murray told me he's gonna get this job and I was hugely proud of him, you know, give him a big hug. And um, we don't see each other often enough to hug each other, but yeah. I gave him a big hug because uh, I, I was so proud of him. And he was, he was, you were generally quite yeah. nervous about yeah, it, I yeah, think. Well, you were yeah, quite, yeah. I still am. <laughs> <laughs> and I, when I got this job, I was full of trepidation, yeah. you know? It's a huge responsibility. And you become public property too, which is quite hard. Ian always got a bit more publicity in the UK than I did. So I was just the guy in, you know, the guy in America that does cars, but he was, he was the famous guy. And so your mum would put yours on the fridge as well, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Below Ian's. <laughs> but she was very proud of us. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was very proud. I wish she'd been around to see Murray getting the job. Yeah. I really had. You know, that's that's that, that's a huge disappointment for me. She didn't stay around long enough to see that. But I'm sure she knows. Have you guys ever influenced each other's work in a in a real way? If you see her work, it's quite similar. Yeah. I think we have a, a huge sense of discipline in what we do. You know, we don't like nonsense. We don't like cars that are overly fussy, fussy. Do you think that any of your preferences or design aesthetic came from growing up in Scotland rather than, than elsewhere? Very pragmatic branch, I think, aren't they, the Scots? Yeah. I mean, uh, and, uh, yeah. and, you know, sort of... Slightly austere. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so curious what you did growing up. What was playtime like? What fostered that creativity? My spare time was always cars. It was either just drawing cars or collecting magazines or brochures or and you know that's that was my life. Maury, yeah. were you as um, interested or were I you I think by, by osmosis or by default I just learned to love cars like Ian did you know I actually tried other paths I actually started school at archi doing architecture actually and then I sketched a few houses so I sketched a house with a car in front and the guy in the interview actually said well the car's much better than the house you know so, so that was maybe a signal. So the Callum brothers obviously know their cars but how well do they know each other? I put them to the test with some quick fire questions. Best thing about your brother? He's my brother. His hair. His greatest strength. He's a great thinker. I think we're approachable and we're, we're, we're likeable people. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> what about your brother's greatest weakness? His hair. His <laughs> lack of hair. <laughs> <laughs> your favourite car that he designed? Um, I have time. Do you know what I've designed, brother? <laughs> I do, actually. Mustang. If you could do anything else, what would you do? I'd be a songwriter. I'd do something with animals. You know, I've just been in he was going to be a vet at one point. I was going to be a vet at one point. Then he went, animals, to, went you know, to stay on a farm for yeah. a week and put them off. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Didn't like, the smell. Didn't like the smell. Best lesson you learned from each other? Persistence. How to drive cars. We ended up working together for about was, a year. He was Italy. my boss at one point. I heard. That's How boss. was that? It yeah. was horrible. I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Cheek. <laughs> it, was, it was actually okay. I think we got on well. I didn't, did we have an argument? I think once. We, did. we did. I think. I argued once, I think. I think you did, yeah. yeah. I told you get out. Yeah, I, fell out. But I came in the next day anyway. So. Yeah, the joys of a brother is your boss. Yeah, you can yeah. Disregard them. Yes. Yeah, <laughs>